Hey, what's up guys? It's Mike with Alpha Reptile and today we're going to be doing the first update in a long time about the plant tank. Uh, things have changed, some stuff has died, others have done well, so why don't we go and explore? To start off the tour we have this uh, ficus benjamina i'm pretty sure it is it's the variegated version it is doing really well uh, as you can tell it really doesn't have much light at all but it seems to be doing quite well in the pod it's in and just kind of sitting outside next to the tank itself and next to it here we have a begonia metallica this stuff is actually pretty rare in canada uh, i know it gets quite large as you can tell the leaves here are uh well, I mean, maybe half the size of my hand, but even this one here is about a similar size to my own hand. They can get bigger than this, and they do like to grow in a vivarium-type setup, so I'm hoping to put some in these empty tanks right here once they are ready to go. Uh, right behind it here, I actually don't know what species this is, so if you guys have any ideas, uh, you can see that there's little like hairs on it. It actually feels really, really like it feels like if you were to grab like an old man's arm. Uh, that might have been like oddly specific, but <laughs> I think it's like a turtle shell um, begonia or something like that. Uh, if you guys have any idea, let me know in the comments down below. But that covers the stuff outside of the tank. Now we can move on into the tank itself. And as you can see, uh, most stuff is doing pretty darn good. Uh, I did lose one of the vanilla plants, which is unfortunate. The vanilla odorata, I think it was called, odoteria, something like that. But the rest of the plants are doing well. As you can see here, I have only a couple bromeliads left. I have three left to sell. And then when I get back from Belize, I'll be getting in another shipment and try and sell all those guys. So I am super excited to get in a new shipment of bromeliads to uh, provide to any of my Canadian folk. Um, here is a uh, Peperomia fucariana or something like that. Uh, this plant is massive. Now, I haven't really been taking the best care of it. As you can see, uh, it's really dwarfed and isn't growing very much at the moment. But it is a huge plant that really should be suit for like a zoo or, I mean, it might do okay in a tank this size, but like a monitor cage or something that's like six feet tall, that plant would be perfect in. Uh, right here we have a mimosa plant. Uh, I don't actually know the scientific name of it, but I'll leave it on the screen here. This is also called the sensitive plant because you go like that. And... Do, 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 do. That's what happens to it. I don't want to bump it because it does stress out the plant when you do that. So ideally you don't do that too often. But unfortunately, as you can tell, many of these leaves I've uh, accidentally touched and closed. So not much you can do. But uh, that's just a tip for those of you that think it's so cool to, to poke them over and stuff. We've already gone over those bromeliads, but back there you can see those are uh, penguiculas. I don't remember the species name on them, but they're both doing pretty well. As you can see, that one's much smaller. Uh, they haven't flowered yet, which is kind of strange. I'm thinking I might need to water them more often. I'm not entirely sure, to be totally honest. But... Uh, they are doing okay. They're still alive. They're still catching gnats and stuff. So it is what it is. At the back, we have a coconut orchid. I will leave the scientific name on the screen right now. I honestly can't remember what it's called. Um, but it is a common orchid, and it is doing super well right now for me. It is starting to shoot off some new growths, and as you can tell, it gets really, really big. Sharing in the same pot as a hitchhiker is actually a Biophytum sensitivum. I really can't keep these guys alive very long in my actual tanks, but in that pot specifically, I've grown probably like 10 of them, and then I transplant them and then they die, so <laughs> that's kind of unfortunate. Next with there, we have a Darwin's Orchid. The Darwin's orchid is also known as an Engracum sesquipedale. 
it gets massive and it is actually pollinated by a giant species of moth. Uh, this tank does have quite a bit of room for it to grow, so I'm not too worried about it uh, like outgrowing this tank anytime soon at least. And I cannot wait. I really hope it flowers at some point. This plant that we see trailing all over is a species of Deschidia. I honestly cannot remember the name. Uh, I might be able to find it somewhere, but uh, it is a kind of Deschidia, and uh, it is growing pretty well. Uh, as you can tell, it's taking over pretty much this whole tank. Up front here, I actually have no idea what species this is, or uh, what species of plant this is, because I got it from work when I worked at Biopod, and um, I think the only person that might be able to ID it with me, or for me, is one of my buddies on Facebook. So. I'm going to see if I can hit him up and see what this is called. Over here we have another species of orchid. I do not remember what kind it is. I might be able to look back on one of my past orders and see exactly what kind it is. Unfortunately, I don't have it here with me right now. Behind that is actually a Marmacodia species, which is an ant plant. You can see its root or its like stalk stem type deal right under that leaf there and if you were to cut it open it would look like an ant farm in there but because they typically form a mutualistic relationship with ants unfortunately I don't have that species of ant where I live so it's just kinda sitting there growing it's doing well but uh, there's no real ants for it to uh, propagate with you can tell it's slowly becoming spring because there is a lot of these orchids that are starting to go into bloom or at least spike so this guy here is a Phalaenopsis velosa, variety Corulia uh, cross sib. So this plant, its blooms are incredible and they smell so good. Like they have an incredible scent to them. Unfortunately, I'm hoping that it won't bloom while I'm in Belize, but it's looking like it might. <laughs> This guy here is the Sideria japonica, or I think it might be called the, the Phalaenopsis japonica now. As you can tell, this plant is actually going into spike and bud. Uh, it kills me that I'm going to miss this blooming because they smell like lemon. And when I mean lemon, like it, it's an incredible smell. Their flowers are gorgeous. Uh, I told my mom while I'm away, make sure you take pictures when this opens up. As for more, this is a Masdevallia revolta and it's actually in spike as well that big thing right there is a flower spike actually there's a couple of them which is really cool I didn't even notice that and then there's also some new growth at the base right there you can see this plant's doing really well for me I'm super happy I decided to pick it up unfortunately I will be here for the orchid show so I'm really excited for that, but I will not have uh, enough spare cash to actually go and uh, order, pre-order from uh, Equigenera, unfortunately. This right here is a Scaphusophallum species. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but you know what? It is what it is. And this thing has gone nuts with the flowering. You can see just how many stems it has, how many... Um, flowering tips it has going for it. Uh, I actually have a couple pictures that I'll show you right now on screen of this plant, uh, of the flower that is. But this is a Scaphusophallum, Scaphusophallum meroria, mero, merinoi. So I'm really happy to have that. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, in here, down there, buried all the way at the back, we have uh, that red one is a uh something bangkok sunset i'll throw it on the screen right now for you guys to see and it's doing okay i really do need to find a tank for it to go into because uh a in here is just too much light and it needs a little bit higher humidity but one of my upcoming tanks i will definitely uh, find that guy home right below it right here we have a phalaenopsis just a mini phalaenopsis hybrid of some kind it has beautiful flowers and it's been flowering all winter for me and as you can tell there's actually another stem and spike right there um, with some buds that are about to open up so 
it's doing really well. It's Nepenthes madagascariensis, I'm pretty sure is what it is. There are some very healthy pictures on the other side here. You can see right there just how beautiful these pictures are. Really, really nice species of pitcher plant here. Gorgeous. It's doing really well. Uh, I just got to keep in mind that I have to keep watering it because it does dry out pretty rapidly, but um, it's growing well. As you can see, it hasn't really gone into its vining stage as the like inter leaf length is pretty short, so I'm not looking forward to when it starts to rocket forward and grow all across this tank. Some of the last, but not least, are uh, these guys here are an, an Apicia species. I have no idea what species, and uh, I kind of forget about them. They just sit and deal with the misting and get enough water from there. They're pretty neglected, to be totally honest, but they're, they're still here and they're still kicking. And then the last plant on this tour is my Vanilla Planifola uh, Variegata, and it's doing pretty darn well, as you can see. Um, it's growing all over the place. There's roots everywhere and um, there's new growing tips all across the tank. So that is the entire vanilla plant there. But that's actually where I'm going to leave it off. Uh, I don't have really anything else to show you guys. Oh, uh, I can't remember what that one is called. Uh, I don't think it has a tag on the back either. But I'm just a, I'm just a bad, bad orchid keeper, to be totally honest. I mean, shame on me, right? <laughs> but that's going to wrap it up for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this relatively long tour of my plant tank. I will be getting a bunch more, and I will probably redo this tank over the summertime because I just threw it together in one short day when I needed to get it ready. So I'm going to spend some time, maybe move some of the plants out into other tanks and spend some time redoing this tank so it allows me to get more plants and more bromeliads. With that being said, I'm going to leave it there. If you liked the video, drop a like down below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, leave it in the comment section. Uh, if you're interested in buying some plants for me, I can do cuttings and sell those to you guys. But I will also, when I get back, I will start selling some mini potted plants uh, that are actually rooted and ready to go in your vivarium. So if you guys are interested in that, just keep waiting. It'll eventually get there. With that being said, if you want to see more plant, reptile, frog, and fish videos, and, and some travel videos in the next couple months, make sure you click that subscribe button and click the notification bell next to it. That'll notify you every time I go live or post a new video. Uh, YouTube's been doing a terrible job of doing that, so if you did click that, that would help me out a ton. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Later.